Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are here with Seto Kaiba because we've got this new skill uh, from the DSOD event, uh, Memories of a Pharaoh, uh, Obelisk the Tormentor, a, 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 a real anime skill that I had to try and the result is pretty nice, not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun in the King of Games rank, um, you know, Role playing as Seto Kaiba, and actually, while I was testing with these decklists that you will see in a moment, I came out with another idea that you will see, I think, uh, in the next days after this video comes out. So, keep in mind that both these videos, this one and the next one on Seto Kaiba, um, um, will have duels that I made. Um, on between Sunday and Monday, so before the KC Cup, so these are replays from the King of Games rank. That's why you won't see uh, KC Cups because now that I'm recording, it just hasn't started yet. So before jumping right into the decklist, guys, just a quick reminder: if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So here, of course, with Sarah Kaiba and. Let's give a quick read at the skill for all who do not know what it does. Um, we've got Memories of a Pharaoh, Obelisk the Tormentor, can be used only on turn 5 and onward. So you have, we have to wait a little bit like the skill for Chaos Max, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. And instead of your normal draw, you just draw Obelisk the Tormentor from the Pharaoh's memory. And now, if we just stop there, the skill will have been already good for role playing. You know why? Because um, one of the most um, hard thing to do is actually you do not want your uh, um, your god your god card in your starting hand, you know. So it's just something like you want to draw and something you do not want to play in your deck list. So that's why drawing an ability tormentor from outside your deck, it's just so good. Now we've got another good thing is that. Um, if you tribute someone Obelisk the Tormentor, one monster whose original card name is Blue Eyes White Dragon can be tributed, uh, can be treated as three tributes. So this is pretty cool. You can actually summon your Obelisk the Tormentor by uh, actually by keeping maybe your uh, monster advantage. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the downside of this is that if you tribute someone um, the Obelisk with only one Blue Eyes, of course, in the end phase the obelisk gets sent to the grave. But that's fine because actually this thing can enable some RTK. You can just tribute one monster summoning a god with 4k attacks that cannot be targeted by spell trap or anything and you can and that cannot be floodgated because you cannot activate anything when it summons. It's just a good thing to have, you know? So I'm really happy. The only thing I'm disappointed, and a lot of you can cannot agree with this, is that I don't like this art. I um, honestly prefer the other one. Uh, so I mean that's fine. It's always obelisk. So here we go with the deck list. Um, it's 21 card deck list. Uh, I didn't know what to actually put out of this, so that's why 21. And I really feel, you know, confident with this. So the really good uh, combo that I find out while I was playing with this stuff was Oasis of Dragon Soul. So I ki I'm kind of afraid for you guys because I actually do not want to bother you with the same card over and over again. But I'm I just feel like I'm already doing it. It's like Oasis of Dragon Souls will be to me the new Super Body Team Force Unite. You know when I get the third copy of Super Body Team Force Unite and I brought to you tons of videos with Super Body Team Force Unite? Now I feel like I'm doing the same with Oasis of Dragon Souls and I'm actually bringing you so many decks with Oasis of Dragon Souls. But it's just so good, you know? No downsides um, except the one of making the, the monster realm type. But you have just a free special summon from the grade that's just so good. And this is really good with blue eyes. For two reasons. Actually, a combo that you will see that I abuse also in the next um, in the next video. So 
uh, a very good thing is that is to summon your dragon speed of white and then trip them and send him to the grave maybe to summon a blue eyes from your hand and then you can keep on using its effect by special summoning him with oasis of dragon souls another good thing of oasis of dragon souls is actually to summon your white son of ancients from the grave so let's suppose you send the White Stone of the Ancients with your Cards of Consonants, then in the end phase you get the effect. In your opponent's turn, you can summon the White Stone of Ancients back from the grave with Oasis of Dragon Souls. And then if your opponent pops it, maybe by battle or by card effects, it doesn't matter, and he gets to the grave again, you can use the effect again. So you can just keep on summoning blue eyes from your deck. That's so good. And... Um, honestly, the deck is pretty easy. Then we've got in Hollowed Life Barrier more than any uh, Regeki Break uh, or I don't know Kamakat or anything like that. More than that because uh, it's just you know mm, something that if you break most of the times a single Kamakat or Regeki Break cannot save you. While instead, if you have Hollowed Life Barrier, no matter what. No matter what your opponent does, he can summon 300 monsters, play 6,000 spells and trap cards. When you activate Alloy Life Barrier, there is nothing can happen. You're not gonna lose to do what that turn. That's why I like it. So then the deck is pretty standard, as you can see, uh, and it really feels good when you actually summon the Obelisk. And I don't know, it's just so good. Another good thing is that. Oasis of Dragon Souls can also help you having three monsters on the field so that you can summon your obelisk with the normal summon and so you do not have to send it to the grave in the end phase. And actually having obelisk the tormentor that cannot be targeted by anything is actually a pretty good win condition, not gonna lie. For the extra deck it's just pretty standard, double erratic, azure eyes, blue eyes pretty dragon, a vermilion, a couple of blue eyes twin burst dragon. Um, that's really good, and there's nothing else we need because we do not play polymerization. There's no reason to play um, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. We can summon this guy by having a couple of Blue Eyes White Dragon, and this thing can happen really easily thanks to Oasis of Dragon Souls. So, guys, that was all for the explanation. We can jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. First replay interrupting a two win streak. Uh, as you can see, I also. <laughs> um, I actually, you know, um, I, I put myself in the real role playing by using also the cards, leaves, and mat, you know, to to create the perfect situation. I'm the real saddle. Look at that. Let's see what we've got. Um, it's us to begin. Cards of consonants, pretty nice. And then white stone. We got the Oasis of dragon stones in the grave. Then in the end phase, the speed of white to banish the field spell and have these Oasis of dragon souls, you know, in the mm, uh, safe. We've got the Harpy Chandler to begin with. This card again, a Harpy to summon a perfumer that we're gonna have. This is gonna about this is about to have another field spell. Actually, pretty bad spot for us. This got the Oasis of dragon souls to use that. As you can see, to summon the stone, and he's got Har it's a Cyber Slash Harpy Lady to pop the back row. So the stones in the grave, of course, this turn will make me, um, uh, will make me some something again from the grave. Then he's got the Harpy Oracle uh, again, the stuff to recycle in the end phase, but he did not attack. And the thing is, he didn't use the effect, and you know why? Because he knew he I could uh, tag out, so that's why he didn't use the effect. And in the end phase, the effect of the stone comes in place once again. Look at that, we're chilling. So now we've got the Dragon Spirit of White's effect to summon the uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, then the stone to recycle the uh, the. The Dragon Speed of White, so I can use Ancient Rules to summon the Speed of White and for the for that back row. Uh, it's got Swallow's Nest at this point. Um, at, at this point, he decided not to use the uh, the effect of Cyber Slash RP Lady on my Ancient Rules because he wanted to use uh, with the effect of uh, chaining to the effect of Swallow's Nest. But what happens when he activates Swallow's Nest? is that I have the priority on the turn to respond because it's my turn and because I have the priority I decided to chain my Dragon Speed of White so he cannot 
Activate the effect of Seba's Lash RP Lady. And look at that, how beautiful they are. Triple Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Old Art, OG Art. That's so good. Um, so we're chilling. We've got the Triple Blue Eyes, a set card. And I decided just to not summon anything. I just wanted to have my three big boys on the field. Just like the anime. Look at that, how good it is. He's got Happy's Fat Rest to draw an extra card. I mean, I think he's, uh, he's missing some pieces. He begins with the Harpy's Hunting Run, then the uh, Chandelier to pop my back row, that's fine. Then Chandelier's Effect, again Harpy's Hunting Run to pop itself and Horacle that will recycle it in the end phase. Synchro Summon, Cyber Slash, RP Lady. Uh, set a couple of cards and recycle the Harpy's Feather Rest in the end phase. Let's see. The skill comes in play, comes in dandy. So I'm gonna draw the Obelisk the Tormentor. I'm gonna tribute all the blue eyes. So Obelisk the Tormentor is not going to be sent to the grave in the end phase. Look at that. Obelisk the Tormentor is here. How beautiful it is. It cannot be targeted, it cannot be flaggated, it cannot be anything. And he just surrendered against the real Seto Kaiba. There you go. Second duel against Silvio and his pendulum skills. Let's see what we got. Actually, not a, a very good start. I mean, we've got the other life pairs so we're chilling. He's got my Yosenju Hitot and the Yosenju Sinju R L. Uh, we the pendulum summons uh, the pendulum summon um Yosenju Hijam. I don't know why actually, and then. The Mayo Senju or die back that can bounce my both my cards. I can activate the Yellow with Life Pair in response. And also discarding the stone. I'm chilling. Now I cannot take any damage. He summons Isna to draw an extra card. In the end phase, everything is come to hand to the hand is, except for the Ojam. In the end phase, Stone of Ancient is gonna banish the um, Senju Sinchu all by summoning the Dragon Speed of White. So I'm chilling. Uh we've got a blue eyes white dragon that's fine but i there was no point in summon him uh i decided just to have this uh on um, on on the field just to bounce something you know just to um uh, to avoid anything to dodge any fact that can target me in fact he's got comma one speed of white can just tag out and look at that we've got the blue eyes white dragon again then he's got the set card in the end phase. Oasis of Dragon Souls will bring out Dragon Speed of White once again to banish the, the, the back row. Now we are in a pretty good spot. Um, we've got the another stone. We can just use the Synchro Summon into Vermilion Dragon Mech. We can pop that and it, it seems like he's got no hand trap. So we're good to go. There you go. Here we were. You, um, um, we were on... Um, you know, three winning secret was the fourth one, so it's uh, him to begin, just a set card, that's fine. We've got a pretty good hand with cards of consonants and uh, double cards of consonants, a couple of stones, as you can see. The white stone legend let me have the blue eyes white dragon to summon my blue eyes alternative white dragon. And then I say not to go for lethal, actually, I say not to attack, I was sure he's got destiny draw, that's why. Then the uh, speed of white to banish the trap card that is a Yosenju's word sting, as you can see to make the Dragon Spirit of White come back to hand. That's fine, actually, because we got double all with life barrier. And I decided to discard him uh, in just because I actually wanted to make room for something, you know? Uh, then the Osis of Dragon Souls to summon the stone. We've got, um, I decided not to go for the Synchro because I wanted something to deal damage, but not trigger Destiny draw. And the stones was actually the best card to, to have, as you can see right here. And he's got five formation tanky. Uh, that's nice. Um, that's fine. He's got all this Yosenju stuff. Uh, as you can see, he's not to draw, and then I decided to use the yellow life better not to take damage right here. Uh, everything is coming back to hand. Uh, we can just go on at this point. Because what I did is just to use the skill, summon Obelisk's Tormentor, look at that, we've got Ancient Rules to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and we can tribute all of them to summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Attacking, but he's got Kytroid, but of course we summon him with uh, triple uh, tribute, so he's not going to the grave, he's gonna stay there, my Obelisk's Tormentor, look at that. 
um, it's got all this stuff, but anything it does, he cannot deal with my blue, blue with my obelisk. He can't do anything. He can just wait. Decided to attack. I don't know why he didn't use the effect of you. So you come want to send my blaze white dragon to my hand. I don't know why. Maybe it was a misplay. Um, uh, here you go the um, the stone with the blue eyes pretty dragon the stone to recycle the alternative white dragon I can just attack he's got of course the kite from the grave but I can negate that and he's got nothing else nothing else the blue eyes pretty dragon to negate the kite with an obelisk to finish him here we go last but not least interrupting the seven win streak and this was actually pretty bad hand we've got a top tier deck the uh, actually not the top tier this was not water this was giski with water stuff like you know i think it was something like that he's got the giski aqua mirror he sets a card and he's done uh we draw pretty bad as you can see right here but i mean we've got an escape we can always uh discard the blood of a dragon and then summoning with doses of dragon souls uh because there was no risk right here i had to wait because i have my um uh, back row uh clocked i decided to discard the blood of a dragon to not take damage and now i can just do the cards of consonant stuff discard the other uh, add the blood of a dragon with the effect of white son of a legend then um, the blue eyes alternative white dragon to to be special summon use the effect pop the monster then normal summon but it's got treacherous trouble and that's fine in the end phase we can just summon dragon speed of white and banish the other trap card that is the other treacher so he just got double treacherous uh he's got a surface to special summon a monster from the grave then giski abyss that add the giski vision to his end he's got the effect of giski vision to add the jill gigas this is actually the new boss am i right um again surface and then he's got the ritual spell giski aqua mirror to summon the jill gigas jill gigas it's the, this is the way you pronounce it and i decided just to allow life barrier here because i knew the effect you can just shuffle a card back to um uh, to my to the deck without targeting so i decided to use that in the first place to avoid anything he decided to, to go for the back row and that's fine this has got surface once again and then to read of shark to make all level four boom abyss twiller and this actually looks pretty tough pretty solid deck but because i activate the other life barrier my monster did not get destroyed by barrel so that's fine uh, very top deck right here. We've got the Ancient Stone to summon the Verbinia Dragon Mac to pop the Zel Gigas, and we can just get rid of the Abyss Tuller. That's fine. Um, uh, no effect in the grave because he used the effect of uh, Abyss Tuller. Then he's got the soft to recycle the Zel Gigas in his hand. Um, is he going to summon another one? No, he's just gonna set the stuff. We're chilling, and then he just surrendered. You can see right here. I was about to draw, uh, I could have drawn also the uh, um, obelisk tormentor but keep in mind at this point I could, I could have just needed enosis of dragon souls to have a blue eyes from the grave and then i could have summoned my obelisk tormentor so this to show you that these tackles can really deal even with top tier tackles as you can see in the replays we uh, beat harpies and um, um what was the other deck oh my lord i can't remember harpies and what what else uh, my Yosenju, so we've got a pretty solid deck list. So guys, that was all for the commentary and replays. Of course, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.